Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. Plastics provide advantages to consumers every day, such as food protection and versatility. But there are still concerns. Fortunately, businesses are developing bio-based plastics for a more sustainable future. Marco Jansen, Commercial Director of Renewable Chemicals from Brascom, is here to talk about how the company is on the cutting edge of developing sustainable solutions. Welcome, Marco. Thank you, Kathy. It's great to be here. Marco, Brascom introduced a bio-based version of the most commonly used plastic. Can you talk a bit about that and how you ensure sustainability? If you look at Brascom, uh, sustainability is in the DNA of the company. The purpose of our company is actually to come up with sustainable solutions with chemicals and plastics to improve the lives of people. And in 2010, we decided to introduce a new product, bio-based polyethylene, which is an existing polymer, as you said, the most commonly used polymer but made from natural resources rather than oil products. The fact that it's bio-based doesn't actually mean that it's a product that's actually better for the environment. Mm -hmm. So to do that, we actually looked at how can you make sure that you sustainably source your raw materials, because this is key to the sustainability of the, of the material. So we work together with a, a well-known NGO, ProForest, to have what we call sustainable sourcing program for ethanol. Ethanol is our main raw material to make sure that everything that we buy is sustainably sourced. And it actually has two pillars. One is actually compliance with our uh, policies and regulations, as well as the country policy and regulations. And then the second one is towards excellence, to make sure that we have continuous improvement towards excellence. And then we have a second point where we look at an LCA to make sure that our process is a process that is uh, sustainable. Marco, will you tell us about some of the companies around the world that have benefited from Brascom's green plastic? I mean, we're really pleased with uh, how well it's being picked up. We have well over 500 clients worldwide, even though we started only 20, 2010, and it's a product which is, let's say, uh, it's more sustainable, but at the same time, it's more pricey, so it's, it's hard to market. Mm -hmm. But we've been able to have some great successes with companies like Lego that everybody knows. We have a Brazilian uh, company called Natura, Shiseido, which is a, a Japanese company. We have Unilever with seven generation here in North America. Recently, we worked with Allbirds, which is a sustainable shoe company from this, this area, from California. So we, we have a lot of big global brands that use our products, but also many smaller brands. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the companies that look at sustainability as the core of their business, but also more companies that are looking at how can they be, become more sustainable. Right. You are a, a leader in this industry. To what do you attribute your great success? That's a good question. But I, I think the fact that we are pioneering, mm -hmm. I think we were f one of the first to do this. We're being recognized as a company that are, uh, that are very sustainable, that are very innovative, that have very good people, and that are very agile to respond to market needs. Well, Marco, it sounds like Brascom is leading the way to finding more sustainable solutions for plastic production and the world. Congratulations to you and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.